Back in 2018, you might have heard the name Jumex. There was a few different YouTubers talking about him, calling him an industry plant. And since Trapped, he hasn't really made any moves. So where is he? Today on Do You Remember, we're going to be talking about Jumex, seeing where he went, and we're going to be going over who exactly Jumex is. So stick around to the end of the video. One of the earliest songs I could find by him is called Love Burns, and he went by a little Jumex at the time. I don't exactly know when this song came out, but it was one of his earlier songs. It was clear he was still discovering his sound and trying to figure out what he wanted to do with it. He sounded more just like a little peep or X ripoff. It wasn't until 2018 where he started to discover his sound. December 17th, 2018, he dropped Trapped. The music video just came out of nowhere and instantly started pulling traction. It was looking like he was going to become a very interesting name in the game. Adam22 would even make a video on the dude, which we don't talk about Adam anymore, but you know, still. At the time, he was a well-respected name, so this was a big W for Jumex. Do I say Jumex or do I say Jumex? I have no clue. I'm just going to keep saying Jumex, to be honest. And if I sound stupid, who cares? He would end up getting a genius interview, which is a goal for a lot of rappers. 2018 really wasn't looking bad for Jumex. He had a unique flow and sound, and this is what made him different than other artists. Despite all the hate that he got for being a generic SoundCloud rapper, he still made it very apparent he was different than any other artist, dropping unique sounds like Alive in My Coffin and Wish Me Death. It was clear from the music videos that he had a lot of production behind him, and this created the whole industry plant talk. Jumex and Ian Dior were just some of the names that got called an industry plant, and it's pretty obvious how this could affect someone's career. In 2018, Progress would drop a video on him, and this is what really started the whole industry plant talk. Jumex did a lot of dumb stuff for clout, like smoking a J in class or grabbing an orange juice container drinking out of it just to return it back to the show. Absolutely repulsive. I don't know why anyone in the world would do that. Man was up late bumping little pump Gucci gang all night, I guess. The clout is flowing through his bloodstream right now, bro. After these videos surfaced, it was clear this man wasn't gonna be around for long. He would continue dropping music, getting decent numbers. People would continue to criticize, but he just kept moving and didn't care. A lot of people were calling him the next little Xan, like Adam22 and I'm Dante. But honestly, this is far from the truth. He really has his own sound, and he doesn't sound like little Xan in any way, shape, or form. So I am really confused on how this even became a top in the first place, but that is just not true. But he would start disappearing around 2019, 2020, dropping a song of October 2021 called Lonely Summer, and this would only get around 500,000 views, not really taking off like the other ones did. And it was pretty clear that he was losing a big fan base. And I'm guessing he noticed this because he wouldn't post again until 2023. The track would be labeled this time, and it really did not do any views at all. Didn't even get 100,000 plays. And the real reason why it flopped is because all the antics he committed and him not posting for the amount of time that he did. It doesn't even seem like he has a management anymore. The quality of the videos just went down. Maybe he just stopped getting pushed as much and was kind of through on the back burner, but it is apparent that he lost a big chunk of his community. Now, the newer music is still very impressive, I will say. It seems like he's going for more of a pop rock sound, and this really does match Jumex a whole lot more. It is sad to see another rapper slash musician go down the way that he did. It seems like before he got to take off, there was already so much criticism on him that he didn't really get to show the people who Jumex was. Now, some of this is his fault, I will say. Drinking stuff from a grocery store, putting it back, is just really foul and it really just shows your personality. It just tells people you're just here for the clicks and views. If you would have grabbed it and then went and paid for it afterwards, who cares, right? But you decided to go ahead and put it back over there, which is messed up and is why we have COVID nowadays. Thought it was people eating bats over in Japan and China. Nah, it's because y'all are over here in America, okay? Licking bluebell ice cream or drinking orange juice just to put it back on the shelf. Like, what type of people are y'all? I really hope that whole era is over. If I ever see that video like that again, I swear to God, I'm taking my head off. And that better start a trend, all right? Because if I'm taking my head off for this, all right? I better get some cloud off of it. If y'all can lick ice cream and put it back in the freezer for cloud, I, I can take my head off for cloud, all right? None of y'all can say anything about it. But the downfall for Jumex definitely could have been a little bit prevented. I can only imagine his management stopped pushing him after they noticed the numbers wasn't doing what they wanted. I completed the Wu-Tang Clan show, all right? So trust me, I know what I'm talking about. What in the world has this video turned into? But either way, I am still down to see what comes out of Jumex's music because he still is very talented and it is obvious. I got a comment of someone wanting me to cover Jumex and that's why I did it. I'll throw it up here on the screen. The newest video could be me talking about your favorite rapper, so comment down below who you want me to talk about. I legit upload on the channel every single day because I have a goal of hitting 1k this year, bro. I really want to hit 1k subscribers. If you could subscribe, please do that. I really want to hit 1k. I love making these videos for y'all guys, and y'all come around every single time just to tap in, and I really do appreciate it at the end of the day. Like, for real, if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be making these videos. The few 81 subscribers that I have, right? I care for each and every last one of y'all, because guess what? Y'all come in and y'all watch the videos, y'all comment, y'all like, y'all do all of that. If you want to check out my Instagram, it's linked down below, along with my second channel where I tell story times or just post whatever I really feel like posting, I'm not even gonna lie. But if you need more Notorious, I have a second channel, so you can run up that. But I covered the topics and everything that I wanted to talk about in this video, so if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, do all of that. With all that being said, y'all stay safe, stay Notorious.
and peace out. And I swear, if I see one more video of y'all people licking blue barrel ice cream and throwing it back in the freezer, I am literally gonna off myself. I am tired of this. How old are y'all, alright?